Hey guys, this lesson is about ergonomics and it's a very cool funky word that I think you learned last year but uh, you might have forgotten it so learn it again this year okay go home tell your parents say hey man I learned about ergonomics and they'll go whoa that sounds so cool and you'll be like yeah it does whatever okay so there is a right way to sit working at a computer and there is a wrong way to sit working at a computer and then there's my way of sitting working with a computer don't do this okay moving on so guys I want you to have a look at these pictures and let's have a look now I saw these pictures I've saw these ads overseas a long time ago and I went and I looked online I found the pictures and here you can see that there are different machines and on the side of the machine there's an advert and it looks like someone is inside the machine like doing the work that you know what I mean? So like the first one on the left there is uh, a lady like making coffees, a little coffee takeaway thing. Then there's another lady sitting like doing banking or something. It's very cool. I'll look at the next one here. There's a guy filling up his car, okay, with petrol or whatever. And there's a, a guy inside the tank like pumping it and whatever, okay. And then we have, um, what's that guy doing? Oh, it's like developing photographs. Like back in the good old days at a photo booth thing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> this one's my favorite, the top left one there. The the bag going through the, the security scanner, the x-ray scanner, but it's actually like a guy inside, <laughs> like taking everything out. He's, he's looking at the dude's underwear. I mean, come on, <laughs> that's crazy. And then, of course, the lady at the bottom there washing dishes. So that's all ergonomics. Now, I'm just going to go back a second, okay, and have a look. Now, if, you, if this had to be a realistic work environment for people, like if they were actually literally working in this environment, what are some of the issues we have here? Well, look, guys, space, lighting, the furniture they're using, the equipment they're using, what they're wearing. I mean, you can see there's all kinds of stuff that would really like damage their bodies physically and make it really difficult for them to do their jobs properly in these situations fortunately they're not real situations but that brings us to what ergonomics is all about let's see if you remember this okay so ergonomics is the design of hardware devices to reduce stress placed on the body and to prevent or minimize injury while in use so it's the design of devices like a mouse a keyboard that sort of stuff a microphone headset all of that that is designed to reduce stress on the body so it doesn't make us hurt ourselves okay does that make sense all right let's get let's look at some examples to kind of drive this point home so here are some examples right have a look here here we have an ergonomically designed keyboard there at the bottom we have a rest for the wrists to like rest on the keys are slightly curved they're probably up a little bit so it gets it like ready so your hands can sort of just fit really comfortably and it rests your wrists so that you can type comfortably and not have you know not not get tension and inflammation of the tendons and stuff we'll talk about that later as well there is a funky looking mouse of some kind I, I don't know how you would hold that, okay, but yeah, I, I don't know. Is that for the thumb? Oh, I don't know. But um, it's also made to fit comfortably under the hand, to cradle all your fingers, make it really comfortable, so that very minimal effort is used to move the mouse and control things on your screen. If you're like a super duper gamer person, here is a, here's a cool, I mean, that's got a back support there, it's got arm rests, it's got a neck or a head support at the back, you can see you can like tilt it backwards or forwards and stuff like that, so that's obviously made so that your body can sit and just be comfortable. Okay, so what do we have next? We've got, well, there's like an office chair for the serious office worker who types and sits at a computer all day, kind of like me. I wish I had one of these. I don't. I wish I do. But look how comfortable that looks. It really does look good. There's supports in all the right place. And I mean, it's you can raise it up and down, tilt backwards and forwards. I mean, that's the kind of chair that you're looking at that will support your body. It's made to help your body to like relax. Okay. Here we have a workstation that has been designed for you to stand and work at. All right. More and more examples of ergonomic design. Okay. Here's mine when I retire and I can just lay back and do whatever I want that's what I'm getting okay there it is yes oh hang on does that look like it's got uh, is that a do, do you pedal on that or is that do you just rest your feet on that I hope it's not for pedaling I can't do that okay I'm gonna have to rethink this one 
Okay, when I saw this one, okay, I had to throw this one in. Okay, guys, I'm, I just saw this. And I'm like, ooh, ergonomic keyboard. I'm like, no, just no, no, no. Look at that. Where, how would you even type? Like, where is, where's M? Where's, like, oh, where, I mean, oh, no. I, mean, I think trying to log it on my computer would take me about half a day using this thing. Anyway, so talking about all of this about ergonomics and that why do we have ergonomics why do we design devices to place a little stress on the body to make sure that we don't hurt ourselves well that is because of rsi rsi is repetitive strain injury what does that mean repetitive strain injury here's a good definition okay if you guys can sort of get this in your head for exams try to get this out in your own words your own understanding spot on Repetitive strain injury is caused, so is damage or pain caused by the repetitive movement, constant overuse of a joint, or continued incorrect technique while using a device. So if you're going to sit like the gamers, the gamers, all right, they're going to sit there, you're going to game like the whole day for hours on end. I mean, like four, five, six hours, okay, nonstop. Think about it. And the, your movements on the mouse, the clicking, the scrolling, the your fingers on the keys, that repetitive movement that you guys are constantly working with, that starts to place uh, a bit of strain on the body. It really does. And so what RSI is, it actually then produces what we call CTS. Actually, no one calls it CTS. CTS. I found out from a health professional. It's carpal tunnel syndrome. We don't call it CTS. Carpal tunnel syndrome, guys. What is it? Well, it is a, an injury which is caused by repetitive strain. Okay, it's a repetitive strain injury, and it affects the hand and the arm. Now, you may have had it. I've had it a couple of times, and it is no fun. Trust me. It is caused by an inflammation of the nerve. Okay, about there, I think it is right there. An inflammation of the nerve in the carpal tunnel of the wrist because you're constantly putting pressure on it the whole time while using a mouse. Man, it is no fun, guys. No fun. It's right there. When you start feeling pain, then you know it's time to take a break. All right. So let's have a look at some tips for healthy computing. Tips for healthy computing. All right. How to compute healthily. Good posture. Sitting properly. Having your feet off the ground. Uh, feet... Uh, okay, it says if your feet aren't supported on the floor, uh, then you should have them on a footrest. Okay, I just saw that for a second. I'm like, oh, I don't sit like that. Anyway, so there you go. There's good posture. Here we go. Six six steps to the perfect ergonomic workspace. And this is where we need like that Zen music, like Nye. right chair, desk, monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Your surrounding. And your lifestyle, believe it or not, how much time you spend connected to the interwebs and how much time you spend staring at a screen. And I'm the worst, so don't even take this from me. I'm the worst at this, guys, I promise. I'm sorry. Right, what else? Tips for healthy computing. Regular breaks. Check your screen brightness. Check the distance of the screen from your eyes to the screen, okay? Check your table height, your chair height, lighting, ventilation, fresh air, and use ergonomically designed devices. So guys, for exams, try to remember about three of these things, okay? Take to heart three of these things and put them into practice in your own computing world as well, okay?